Ooh, it's on. Okay, so we are going downstairs. Before we go on these little trips, I need to get a bunch of equipment. Got my backpack on there. We're gonna go down and take the Land Rover for a little rippity rippity rip rip. Make a cool video for you guys. Let's go see Sean. He's actually waiting down there for us. like 34 kilometers worth of gas. We can make it work. We can't go far, but we can go fast. Come on. This whole idea of getting rid of the envelopes when you do a deposit in an ATM is the worst idea I've ever heard of. It kind of makes sense. It never works. No, it doesn't. It always spits it out at least once and then says, oh, your bills have to be facing this way. Take my money. How many K do I have left in the fuel tank? Because I am not spending money on this. So, what's your overall rating of this Land Rover? I really, really like it. It does, unfortunately, like most Land Rovers, uh, have a dash that's lit up like a damn Christmas tree. But for 2010, I think they were still using electrical components from an Indian motor company. Land Rover Jaguar has probably, in my mind, especially Jaguar, been like one of the biggest comeback stories. Think back to like the year 2000 in what an XJR looked like for Jaguar. And now compare that with the XEs that they've got rolling around out but there. But they've done a great job, and Land Rover is obviously connected to that. It is fun to drive. It is luxurious, spacious, as with most Range Rovers and Land Rovers. I like it. I wouldn't buy it. Like, I currently have a fuel light, a tire pressure light, and a warning about something else. This is the great thing. It did just come through the shop with a clean bill of health. And can we talk about TPS sensors? Are they necessary? Or... They are, because they're cool and they help, but they are the worst things to fucking deal with. They never work right. Almost always you see a light on for one of these things. Well, as soon as the temperature drops and your tire pressure changes because of that drop in temperature, um, yeah, you get warnings thrown constantly. You know, if you get out and you fix it, all of a sudden you get a, a hot spell and your sensors go off again. And in a lot of cases when you're driving on snow or icy conditions, especially if you're just on a mud and snow tire and not like an actual winter rated tire, uh, you want to be with a little less pressure in the tires. They'll grip a little bit better. This is a great vehicle and you will look like a baller for a solid six months before you get tired of making not only your payments, but your repair bills as well. I'm Sean with Just Ask Dads, a group of 30-somethings living like we're 20-something right now in Kelowna. We're basically just here answering any and all questions. Most of us are working in the automotive industry in some capacity right now. You go to a party and people find out you work in auto, and the ones that aren't initially just completely turned off and walk away, we'll talk to you for hours about what it's actually like, how much money cars actually are worth, what trade-ins work, whether or not they're gonna get 10 grand for their 2001 Ford Explorer with a rebuilt engine There's that they million had questions, on right? Craigslist for, you know, six, seven months. Just Ask Dads, it's a little group we put together, banded together in Squamish in our previous location. We just have a lot of fun and answer questions as we go. Some questions we think should be answered, and uh, hey, any kind of interaction from you guys out there if you happen to think we're actually entertaining. Well, like your guys' questions are the best questions because they're, they're real and organic and we want to help people that honestly need a solution to something that they have a problem with. And whether that's cars or that's life or it's building a treehouse in your backyard, we want to be able to answer that for you. We're not experts, but we like to think we're, we're quite knowledgeable, right? And we all have different skill sets so we can all kind of answer a different set of questions. Some of us know a lot about a little and others of us know a little about a lot and that's basically Just Ask Dads in a nutshell. You may not know this but we've always been your internet dad and let's make it official and click that subscribe button guys on YouTube so you can keep watching all this stuff. We're going to stay car focused for now but we want to expand and branch into other areas. So if you have a question literally about anything, think about questions you would ask your dad and just Ask us. I know how to tie a hell of a half Windsor knot. There you go, right? Yeah, you know what? I want to get uh, definitely more content like this, just working in a more media focused way. Because let's be real, standing on a lot waiting for some schmo to walk on so I can yell at them, I can get you approved! <laughs> After I'm done taking a drag on a cigarette, 
Ah, uh, it's not how I want to live my life. This is a Just Ask Dad session with Nick and Sean, and you'll meet the rest of the dads soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions, please, please let us know. We will answer them for you. Everybody out here because of the shotgun on my uh, camera, everyone up here thinks I'm a cop doing photo radar. <laughs>